hello small steppers and welcome back to being Bethany. So before we get started please hit that subscribe button, become a part of this small steppers community. Now as I'm filming this video I'm on 40 subscribers which I'm very excited about. If we could get to 50 oh I'd be forever grateful. Thank you so much for the support so far. Thank you for listening to little old me chin wagging away. I really really appreciate it so thank you but let's keep pushing. Wouldn't it be cool to look back on this video and be like wow I was a part of the original crew of small steppers. Now as you can see I'm in some workout gear so it's time people. It's time to do some exercise. So this is going to be part of my exercise compilation video. So in my head, how I'm imagining this is going to work is over the next week or, or two weeks or however long it takes, I'm going to be doing different forms of exercise, filming some snippets of it, then talking about it afterwards, and then perhaps doing a general review of, of what I liked and what I didn't like. So, you know, hopefully it will help you think of new ways to exercise or, or just... Maybe, I don't know, seeing someone else put themselves out there a little bit, making a bit of a fool of themselves, will hopefully reassure you that anyone can do this. I am by no means a healthy guru expert and I'm by no means super, super fit. So we all have to start somewhere, I, I guess is my point, and we can all start somewhere. So yes, I just want this to be quite a positive video, probably quite a funny, funny video, as you see me just uh, navigating my way through exercise. But yes, that's how I imagine in my head this video will look like, how it will start. So also, just a heads up, I don't have that much workout gear, so I will probably be just continually washing stuff and wearing the same thing. So I promise I'm not just wearing it like, completely all sweaty and stuff like that. Just wanted to put that out there. So what what exercise am I doing today? Well, I have wanted to try out, I've seen that there's been HIIT workouts on YouTube, probably not a new thing to your ears, but they do ones to like High School Musical and, and different soundtracks really. And I just love things like that. So I thought this, this could be something that I really enjoy. So yeah, I'm gonna set you up and I'm going to show you snippets. Now because it's it's High School Musical music, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to put that in the video. So what I'll probably do is I'll find some copyright free music and put it over the top. Now probably means I'm going to look even more silly, but I'm doing it just for you guys. So you know, if you want to maybe put actually some High School Musical on, on your phone or something whilst you're watching that snippet, then please do. So yes, I'm probably going to add some different different music to it and then I'll talk about it afterwards once I've done it and once I'm all sweaty and you get to see all my sweat. So yeah I'm a bit nervous, I'm a bit like oh I don't, in my head right now I'm like I don't want to do this, I really can't be bothered but I know it's going to give me a great start to the day. I've already got up and tidied my room and I've put my workout gear on, let's do this workout, have a shower and be all set and accomplished for the day. So yeah let's get started people.
Okay, gang. My camera battery ran out just on the last bit. So I thought I'd film my immediate reaction on my phone. So apologies for that. It was good. It was fun. I'm sweating. Yeah, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. It reminded me of when I was doing musical theatre. I love musical theatre. And it's probably the only time you'll get me actually wanting to dance properly is musical theatre. So it was really good fun. I'll leave a link down below to what workout I used. The lady on there is lovely. I'm pretty sure it's mk fit and what happens is for each section you'll learn two dance moves that you'll repeat and it's only like 20 minutes it's only 20 minutes and it's got my heart pumping now i felt like maybe i could do another one which i might do in a minute but it just brings joy it's fun i i really enjoyed it yeah you just you just gotta work half that moment and i don't care if i'm being silly because i'm working out to music from my childhood and it's got my blood pumping. I, that's probably the most I've moved my body in a little while. For, for my first one, I think I'm going to do more of them, of different soundtracks and stuff. But for a starter, that was really, really fun and I really enjoyed it. So definitely check. If you love musicals or just soundtracks and things like that, then definitely check them out. Yeah, I'm going to go have a shower now. See ya! <laughs> okay, so my next form of exercise is the classic, the classic being Bethany style, which is walking. So today I'm going for a walk with my sister. It's the first thing I'm kind of doing today. I've, I've got up, I've got ready to go for a walk. And yeah, let, let's see how it goes. We're going on an adventure. But I think this is a great place to start for exercise, especially if you're not used to it. I think going on, going on walks is a really good small step. Also, it's just nice. It's fun. It's, it's, you know, it doesn't have to be hardcore in terms of pace or anything. And, you know, I'm going with my sister or you could go on your own. You could listen to music on the way round. And I think it's a great place also to gather your thoughts and things like that. So, yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, I'm a bit more... I know this one and <laughs> I know this form of exercise. So nothing should really surprise me as such. But I will just, when I get back film I guess my reaction I'm gonna try and get some footage on the way round it will probably be on my phone because I won't take the camera today but yeah it's gonna be maybe a bit nippy outside but I've got my got my hoodie on gonna grab a scarf and yeah let's go for it see you in a bit I look a bit bedraggled, but the walk is done. We did 7K, we explored a new area today, and it was really good. It was really good to get outside with my sister. I've started the day, I guess, on a high in a way, because now anything that I do for the day, I might do some editing in a bit or this and that, I've moved my body, and I feel like it's okay that I'll be sat down doing some things. So yeah, it was really fun and always, always a good source of exercise. So, so that's really great. So yeah, walk done. Okay, gang, another day, another form of exercise. I'm a bit nervous today because today I'm going to go for a run. Now, I haven't done this in a long time. I did the race for life a few years ago when I was at uni and I didn't really properly train for it, but I did do it and I did it okay. But my level of fitness since then and stamina is probably not very good. So yes, I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to try and get my sister to film me as I go off. It's only going to be a short run. Um, I, I might try and I've download, re-downloaded Strava, so I might try and tell you the distance if it works, if I can figure out. And I will try when I get back, if I can breathe, to, to kind of just say my initial thoughts. So yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but let's do this. It's a small step today, guys. And if it means that I run and walk, run, walk, that's going to be fine and I think just getting out and doing it even if it's going to be just a very quick one round the block is still a great achievement so let's do this.
Guys, I did it. I ran, I'm very sweaty. I had to sit down, but I did it. I did, what did I do? I did 3.32K. Now, I was very impressed with myself because I ran about 2.5K straight. I didn't stop at all, which I didn't think I'd do. So I think what's good about running is there's mental challenges there. Because I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to run about two seconds and then I'm going to have to stop. But each time I just kind of monitored myself. When I slowed down my pace a bit, I made sure I breathed um, because that's something I really struggle with. And then I hit about 2.5k and I was like, you know what? I've done more than I anticipated. I'm going to stop. However, when you do stop, I feel like then I was stop, start, stop, start. But I did the home stretch because I was like, I'm nearly back. I'm really impressed with myself. Now I'm going to make sure I drink lots of water and just calm down. But yeah, I did it. I don't really know what else to say, really. I'm very uh, chuffed with myself. I was very nervous. And I saw on my Strava that the last run I did was August 2019. So it's been a while. But I'm very impressed with myself. And I think if you can run or walk, it, it's a mental game. But once you push that boundary slightly, you realise you're more than capable to do things that you didn't necessarily think you would do. So yes, run, done, people. Woo! So guys, that was my exercise compilation video of the week. Now, as you can see, I did three different types of exercise. I also did do another walk in there, but that was a small one, 3K. So I was trying to do kind of every other day if I could. I had a couple of days of work in between that on the Sunday and Monday. So yes, what did I do? I did a HIIT workout, I went for a 7K walk, and I did a run. So I hope that's been helpful to you to hopefully inspire you to get out there and, and, and take some small steps towards exercise, to hopefully have a bit of a giggle at me and my non-existent dance moves, even when I'm following someone on the TV, and to also just give you some ideas, really, just in case. Other forms of exercise, which, which I have done pre-lockdown with my boyfriend, I've done a bit of boxing before, if you follow me on Instagram, there's a link down below. I will be posting a little clip of some work that we did outside with, with rings and bars and stuff. That's really cool. But that's something I'd like to explore more with him. The first thing to note as well is before you start doing exercise, if you have any health concerns or existing medical conditions, it will probably be important to speak to a doctor before you start taking those steps towards exercise because it might be you might have to make some adjustments before you start your exercise and, and be mindful not to push yourself for anyone really too much too soon would be my advice. If we were going to review them, I guess, well, I enjoyed all of them, really, I did. And I think this week overall, it's helped my mood and it's made me feel really accomplished. And then furthermore, the other things I do that's non-exercise related, I felt more accomplished because I know that I've moved my body and then if I'm eating a bit healthier and then I'm doing some editing, I just feel like I'm bossing the day and I think I feel happier in myself. I think my mood has been, has been lifted somewhat. I'd say a walk is a great place to start because if you're very new to exercise, then just getting outside the house, especially from a mental health point of view, especially with anxiety, getting out the house can be a real challenge. And I know that was for me. And some days I just don't feel like it. So the thought of doing a run or something else can be a bit overwhelming. But to go for a walk around the block and then to maybe download the Strava app and see if you could do a 3K walk, then a 5K walk, then maybe a 7K walk, not with any particular pace or anything, but I think that would be a great place to start. Then also, what I liked about the HIIT workout to High School Musical is one, it was to High School Musical, and my boyfriend reminded me when I was telling him about it, that that's where I get my most joy. You put some music on, especially that I like, especially if it's a bit cheesy, and I just want to dance and I just want to have fun and I love musical theatre and it's something I really miss so I think that workout was a perfect workout for me and I want to do that more. I think the benefits of it is that it's like 20 minutes, 20-30 minutes, it's not too long and, and I think that's a good thing to wrap your head around and actually it went really quick because I was having a lot of fun. Now if you're worried about looking silly, 
I just posted some clips from that. I look really silly. And there's moments in there where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's part of the fun, it's part of the challenge. So, and actually I'm doing it at home. And if you're doing it at home, no one's gonna see you. I've put it out there to hopefully encourage you guys. Will I regret it later? Maybe. Will, will 10 years down the line those moves come to haunt me? Possibly. But I'm gonna leave a link down below to that workout, so please check it out because I think I think it was it was really awesome. Now, the run. Now, that was daunting, I won't lie to you. But you know what? I still feel chuffed that I did it and I want to continue doing it. I would say start small, especially I think I surprised myself because I had more fitness than I thought I did. I don't think I was giving myself enough credit. But if you don't and if you're starting small, start small. Like, don't feel like you have to do I think I did like 3.3k, you don't even necessarily have to do that. I know you can get some really good apps or really good things online about training yourself, perhaps it's just a 10 minute run or things like that, you know, I would encourage you to do that research on, on how to start running. But put some music in, I did, and I did feel that my mind just was calm and then in the moments where I started to panic that I didn't have enough energy, I found the strength to be like, you've got this, remember your breathing, keep going. And there were so many times when I wanted to stop that I actually kept going. It was like this, it was like in my mind I would approach a hurdle in my mind and then I got through it. And then when I eventually did stop, that's okay. If you want to stop and walk, there's no shame because you're still doing exercise. Stop, walk, stop, walk, you're still exercising. But I think mentally what that can give you is, is bravery, is courage. And when you get back, regardless of if you've walked half of it or run half of it or whatever, you've gone out there and you've done it. Same with all these exercises. You've gone out there and you've done it. And I think that's my biggest takeaway. If you can do something, however small, it's another accomplishment for you. And it's another accomplishment, not only for yourself in terms of mentally, but physically. So yes, I've really enjoyed this week. What I need to do now is maintain it. So I'm keeping an exercise log in my bullet journal, and I'm just gonna write down forms of exercise I do the day I've done them so then I can look back and see if there's a consistency there. Please tag me in, in the small steps to exercise that you're doing on, on Instagram. Yeah, I hope you found this video fun. Let me know what you think. Maybe I can do more in the future of other different types of exercise. I hope everyone has a lovely week. Please, if you like this video, hit subscribe. Keep building this community so we can share the positivity and the love. We can all do that together. And yes, I'll see you very soon. Bye. And yeah, I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm quite puffed right now. I'm having fun though.